Hey guys, how's it going? I am Yurt, and today we're doing another tutorial. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured I'd help you guys out. Uh, today we're going to be building a park entrance. Uh, I've already built that one over there, but we're going to build a different one. And yeah, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see you next time. And let's get right into it. Alright, so I went ahead and turned off uh, Disable Collisions so I can do this, you know, with y'all. So, because I know most of y'all don't have the... Uh, game pass for disabled collisions but um you can do this either two sizes you can do it either eight wide or six wide and it has to be at least six long you can make it as long as you want but uh um, the first thing to start is we're gonna grab a fence to separate the two entrances and outrance outrance i just said an outrance i meant to say exit but basically what you want to do is for the eight one put it right down the middle right it doesn't have to be this one, you could actually do it with this as well. Any fence really, it doesn't matter which one. You can do it with rope. It's up to you. I'm gonna use this. I'm just going for a generic park right now. So after you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna get out the walls, right? And you go to the metal plate, and you gotta choose, well, even it doesn't matter what color you choose, but I prefer using the one next to this black. I don't know what the name of the color is, but you choose that, and then you need to put two, two, two block ones or two unit high ones right that just like that okay same thing on this one over here two units high and there you go now what you do is you grab a pole and now i hope this works it does you grab two poles and you put them on each side just like this once you have put the poles there you grab the trim make sure you have the same color and go across just like this on top of them just like so then you want to grab a pull trim the smallest one and put it in the corners just like this then you go to doorways and grab the smallest door and for this I go and I select the middle plate but I don't change the color so you have a lighter entrance just through there just like so and you basically have your metal detectors now now these aren't you don't have to build the metal detectors I think they look nice uh, most parks have them. Uh, there is one other thing you could add to spice it up is the neon light. What you do is you just go up here and here I'm gonna raise the height. Flip it around so it's on the front and put them just like this. Then you want to select them and change the color to green. You can also make one of them red as if like it's detected something from someone but that's not required. Alright, and now that you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go to props and you want to go down to tables. Then once you have your tables, change the color to match your design. So since I'm using black, I'm going to change the second one to black and change the top one to be... we're going to go white. And then you just want to put two just like that on both sides. Same thing on this one. Now for the exit, you don't actually need to put anything really. Uh, you can also put the little, um, what is it, like people counter thingies you know they walk through and has the metal bars that they spin around uh for if you have disabled collisions it's a lot easier to do these but if you don't then you just put one two and you select the color and set this to metal plate and then the dark one just like that do the same thing on this side but if you do have disabled collisions what you can do is go to a fourth snap grab this right here and select the same color Get all of these to be the same material, so metal plate. Get them all to that, except for this one. You want this one to be like a light gray. And I think you have to actually put those first, so let's do that again real quick. All right, and then you put them in just like that, and then you grab your um, thingamabobbers again. I forgot what those are called. You place them just like that. So that way they can still walk through, but it's like as if the metal bars are kind of there. Not really, but it's the best you can do in this game. And then you have your park front entrance. Now, this is just like the entryway, so you might want to spice it up by adding like places where people can buy the physical tickets. So what you want to do is just build any building. For this, we're going with like just a generic park, so we're going to go and we're going to set this three high. So for these little ticket booths, I'd say go about six by six or eight by six, something like that, as long as it's kind of like goes along with this right and to do them what you do is i should probably turn off disable collisions i want to see if this would work but you want to go ahead and put your windows okay 
make sure you get your color theme to match because be kind of weird if you don't match your colors you know <laughs> once you have the matching what you could do is you want them to just be open like your place is open it's not like you have like it blocked off what you can do is first i should probably put a floor in here and right, now we have a floor in here let's go to props once again grab tables once more spit them around place three in a row go over here copy the color with the paint brush color all those the same and then we got to go to seats so they have somewhere to sit <laughs> and i don't know if the half snap is required is a thing you can only do with uh stable collisions but what you want to do is place one two three just like so colored them as well so they match so they have their seats okay now if you want it to be closed and you don't really mind you know having the place not or you just don't have the money to decorate the inside what you can do is and now i need to test this with disable collisions or about to find out if it works but if it doesn't work without disable collisions then you just have to fill in the inside you take a big sign right it doesn't fully close it. if you want to fully close it, you have to place two but what you do is you go here you change that to metal plate you change that to dark metal okay and then you do that same thing with this one you don't have to change the color of the metal i just think the darker metal looks nice so there you go this does work with disable collisions for those two and then you got to get the smaller sign and do the same thing and it should go just like that then what you can do is if you want to make it look like as if there's a little like knob is you put a period as the dot and then you change that to white or light gray i mean you can do light gray let's see what light gray looks like light gray looks a little bit better so let's do that light gray and change it to a dot for all of them and it looks like as if it's you know a handle you pull it up with that's if you plan on going inside of there. So that closes it off. We're gonna leave uh, the far one open. Is this one's working, right? Then what you do is you just wanna grab a sign. It doesn't have to be a big one. It could be a little one like this. Okay. Paint them to be whatever color you want. In this case, I'm gonna do it just like this without that being yellow. Now that we have them just like that, you go here and change it to like, to say tickets, right? Let's say you have like a season pass, right? Because you know some water parks have season passes you buy. You need to be like customer service in case they need help with something. So that's how you build that. You can put a little roof on it, which is what I'm going to do right now to get the final product. Right, and then we have our little park entrances so you can do it but you can customize this as much as you want as long as you follow the basics like simple steps of metal detector being kind of the same thing you know tables for, for like stuff when they uh, have the security guard go through their backpacks and stuff like that uh, the people counter that's not required but you can't have that you can also have it on the way out uh, customers this the signs they can say whatever you want really I just would take a season pass and like that don't have to have them closed as long as it's just like a building with little tickets that's all uh fence can be whatever you want and uh yeah that's all we're gonna be doing so if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like subscribe and comment down below which you want to see next time uh if you have any questions look at this dude